top of the morning, friends and family. The rest of the world is sleeping, so I'm gonna keep it a little quiet, but we're going to Freedom Breeder today, and I'm gonna pick up a few levels of the Pro-Line, pro the new Pro-Line Freedom Breeder racks, because I'm gonna probably put them in this position over here, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can be very versatile with them. I'm still gonna have my enclosures there, and the Pro-Line rack, and before we go, it's a long drive, so I gotta get my core going. I'm gonna go for a little run, and let's check out a couple snakes real quick. I wanted to show off Make Make here, because she's a GHI Mojave pin het clown, and usually she's about as black as my jacket, but some days, like today, she's just light gray, fired up. Look at the blushing coming up her belly. And how light she is. It's just incredible. This is one of those snakes that fires up like a retic. I mean, literally, you wouldn't recognize this snake if she was next to herself on a dark day. Pretty cool. Hope that means she's building some nice follicles. And the last time I showed this girl on video, she was deep, deep in shed. This is Matilda, our orange head Sumatran short tail python from our buddy Matt over at O'Malley's Morphs. And whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> She's getting a little squirrely, but absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pink around the sides of her head. The outline, that orange. Isn't that freaking phenomenal, dude? Whoa. Oh, so nice. your sprints are worse when your phone keeps falling as you're trying to time lapse them. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. Oh, it's cold. I've got that. Oh, man, that shower is cold. Yep. Still renting cars to go places. Uh, probably doing that till we get out of debt, but it's all good. I like my rental cars. Yeah, look at that thing. Nice. <laughs> my drone on follow mode and now it's stuck in that tree. <laughs> I don't have a very long focal lens but you can see it's right up there near the top. I'm cropping as much as I can with this. I don't know how it's gonna come down. Maybe a strong wind and it'll fall and hopefully hit enough branches on the way down to slow it so I can catch it but how to knock it? Oh my gosh. I feel like such a dolt. So I don't, I don't really know what to do. I knocked on the door of the house and nobody seems to be answering. <sighs> Way up at the top. Had to be at the top. I was, had it in follow mode so it follows the car automatically, but apparently it didn't know how to dodge the tree, which usually this drone does a great job of doing, but not today, Junior. 
Ah, I suppose I might as well just continue on to Freedom Breeder and then see if they have any kind of uh, long things. <laughs> oh, we're having a party out here? It's a party out here. Whoa! Oh, I have oh my God. Nice catch. <laughs> I hold records, How you doing? Good. All right. Everybody's hard at work. It's awesome. <laughs> nice kick, dude. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a soccer player. Oh, oh I set you up the right there, bro. <laughs> no, he's gonna be a soccer player. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. He's like, I'm camera shy right now. He's <laughs> like, what is that? You should see the cleanup. Well, how, what do you mean? Look. Wait, wait, say that again? The cleanup. What about, say, no, say the whole sentence again. The cleanup. No, you, oh. sh you should see the. We, you should see the cleanup we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I Let's thought I it. said something wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey. Hold on. Don't get this dirty mop. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Dude, I literally Clorox every wall and then I got bleach in my eye. Yeah. It was so funny. Because we did it on New Year's Eve when everyone was off. And there, so I ran. It splashed my eye. I ran and I uh, started pouring a whole water bottle. My shirt was soaked. <laughs> And then all of a sudden I turn and one of our renters is literally watching. <laughs> I'm like this. For bleach? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's uh, horrible. No, look. Pretty sm schmatchy. Wait, what is this going to be? Uh, break room. Break room? Okay. I thought it was going to be my filming room. But no, whatever. I tried, but then my mom told me no. So. Fair enough. I'm not here enough filming anyway. People are here needing breaks more than I'm here no, filming. No, I was going to so. make it so nice. But, you know. That's cool. I got, you know. Well, guess what? My, my drone is uh, about 40 feet up in a tree, like one of those about 10 miles up the road. Who's driving it? Who's, well, it was, <laughs> it was self-driving. It was, so, I was self-piloting it. Like it followed, uh -huh. like it tracks the car. And it, it had gas or battery to come all the way here? From no, not from my house. I just like oh. stopped shortly before I got here just oh. to like make the video so nice fun. and cinematic. I seen one at Costco the other day. Yeah, it's fun except that it's in a tree. It's stuck? It, yeah, 10 miles from here. <laughs> it's like 40 feet up in a tree. <laughs> I need to get it somehow. Nice. We'll yeah, figure it out. What? Yeah, and that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be here to pick up a rack. The pro line rack, tell you guys the pro line is turning into like, how do I get my drone back video. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out later. All right, here's here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm going to pick up the pro line rack. We're gonna ship. Get your coca blocks. Get your orders. Get your orders. And uh, I'm gonna pick those up. I'm gonna get the pro line stuff. Jesse and I are gonna film like four or five videos, and then I'll come back. We'll see where we're at with the drone, and we will also. Oh look, they're all built. Pro line racks. Looking pretty good. That's great. That's great, that's great. So I'm gonna take some of these home and then we'll go, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll, like I said, we'll check back in once we figure out what's going on with my drone and we'll also see how awesome the Proline racks are as soon as we get them back to my house. Well, headed back. I stopped by, it's still stuck up there in the tree. Um, Luckily, Jesse's buddy's got a bucket truck, but they can't get down there today, so they're gonna get down there tomorrow. Hopefully, it's still just sitting right there, and we'll get it back. So, I gotta get back. We gotta set up this, uh, this rack at the house, so we're gonna get back there and do that. And in a future video, I'll show the footage of the drone crashing into the tree, hopefully, assuming that everything works out and we do actually get it back, but could be worse. All right, let's go. We're back. I got a bunch of stuff all over the room. We got all the parts for the Proline rack. I'm going to build it as quickly as possible. In fact, we'll do a little time lapse of me building it, see how long it takes. Keep in mind that I do need to take pictures while I'm building it so that we can put it on the pamphlet for the instruction manual for how to build the rack when people receive it as a customer. So, see how I do. I've never built one before. I've watched Jesse build one, videotaped him building one, so I've Got that, got that little advantage. I really hope they find my drone. <laughs> Christopher Sexton is not gonna be happy with me if they, if they don't pull that thing down out of the tree successfully. 
Uh, I hope so. All right, let's get this thing built. Let's see what happens. Well, all right. Let me get this place a little cleaned up and then uh, get in there and make it happen. I think we're doing, I think we're doing good. I think we're looking pretty good, especially if I get the exposure right. I was gonna do seven levels, but I'm also putting two two by four enclosures on top. So I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to pull out and clear the fan and not have to deal with, you know, not being able to pull it out and hit the fan and having to take an enclosure off just to wheel it out to clean behind it and everything. So we'll just go six levels. That's That's plenty, this is just, you know, looking to expand soon, actually. So uh, I just wanted to, wanted to be ready. I wanted to be ready, gotta be ready. Oh, not too bad though, huh? Pretty quickly, despite a couple little minor issues I ran into with the the rivet gun and a couple other things that I fixed very quickly, but you know, they still took away time from the build time, but still went up pretty dang quick, dude. I'm stoked, got plenty of space. Look, got the rack shelf in there. Woo! Yeah, pro line like butter, butter. Dude. Oh, so nice. Well, come here. What do you guys think? Whoa. Nice. What is Which this? one's gonna be blends? Uh, blend could go in, Wait, well, any, any one you want. How about this one? Room. Yeah, blend could go in that one. It's easy to spot out, the very left. Whoa, this is the longest snake I ever saw in my life. Uh, and look at that, that's the biggest lizard. What? And that's the longest, longest snake. And that's the only bullfrog that looks like that you've ever seen. And he's chubby, he's chubby chubby. Hey Eli. What? What Eli. do you know? I know frogs. What about frogs? That we have a bullfrog and it looks chubby and I wish his name was Chubby. That's all I know. <laughs> what do you know? I know Blend. What about Blend? That Blend is... You gotta look, the camera's over here, Pong Slice. That Blend is a blood python right here. You gonna take him out? It's a male. Come over here to the light. Blend's a bald but blood python. A what? Blood python. His mom is Sandria. And he's still pretty young. And I have a feeling he's gonna bite my armpit. He's got a nice pattern where his colors blend in together like right here. There's a little bit of blending. And I feel like that his colors have changed over the years. <laughs> over the years? He's not even a year old yet. Over the, oh, <laughs> over the months. Oh, okay, well, uh, unfortunate news for the drone so far. Well, um, you almost stepped on Blend's head. Well, watch where you're going, bud. Yeah. Don't watch out. You no, know, don't just put your snake down on the ground when there's a bunch of people around. Yeah, things good. <laughs> I just talked to the guys that were gonna go get the drone, and uh, they apparently can't do anything without me that, or somebody I trust there. So there was a miscommunication on that, but uh, the good news is I've got a good trusted friend who's gonna be able to go meet them. Unfortunately, uh, it won't be able to happen until after the weekend, in fact, not until Tuesday. So I don't know if it's gonna stay in the tree that whole time or what, but I'm hoping that it all works out for the best, obviously, and I'll let you guys know what happens with it as soon as I know what happens with it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our journey today as fraught with peril as it was. 
And uh, yeah, well, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Mm, I think Music Monday coming up, eh? Aloha. Aloha? Aloha. Hey, Dad. What's up? Can we get Blend's enclosure ready? Can we get Blend's enclosure ready? Yeah. I just spent the whole day getting his enclosure ready. I mean, like, put the stuff in it? Um, yeah, I gotta, we, first thing we gotta do is crank it on and, uh, get some, uh, what do you call it? Get some heat going on it. So it's gotta run and come up to temperature and everything. Then we'll put the substrate, make sure everything's good. So we want it to be set up and running for a couple days before we transfer him over, okay? Okay. And we can't forget his cocoa blocks. Say again? And we can't forget his cocoa blocks. Say it louder. And we can't forget his cocoa blocks.